Now I want to just touch on management by exception. But it's very important that you get a grasp of it and it's relevant that I show this while talking about the organization theme. So here we have the project board, here we have the project manager. We know at the end of each stage, the next stage plan will be created, the project plan will be updated, as will the business case and risk situation, and an end stage report created by the project manager. This is brought back to the project board who review it at an end stage assessment. At this juncture, the project board will want to, having reviewed the next stage plan, and let's suppose they are happy with it, they would set tolerance for the next stage. I've just shown an example of cost and time here, although it may be other metrics of tolerance. They'll also advise the project manager of how often they want highlight reports and what particular information should be included. The next stage plan is approved and now the project manager is tasked to manage the stage. First of all, by giving out authorised work packages from the next stage plan. The specialist team need to agree that and then work can commence on creating the specialist products. During that period, as laid out in the work package, the team will give the project manager regular checkpoint reports. By the same token, the project manager will be giving the project board regular highlight reports because of course we are managing by exception and what dictates exception is of course the tolerance band whatever metrics that happens to be. Ultimately when the work package is complete the team advise the project manager who needs to satisfy themselves that is the case and now they may well issue the next work package and so the process continues. But let's imagine during this particular stage that an issue is raised. We'll assume it's a request for change. The project manager would log it on the issue register and then put simply carry out an impact analysis to determine the impact if this change were indeed implemented. Let's suppose as a result of that the project manager forecasts that if this change were to be implemented it would blow, let's say, stage tolerance. The project manager must bring it to the attention of the next level of management, in this case the project board, via what's called an exception report, laying out the reasons for it, the impact, options for recovery, and a recommendation by the project manager. The project board need to consider this and decide what to do next. They may decide to prematurely close the project, but let's assume in this case they actually like one of the options and they request a plan from it from the project manager. The project manager using the process managing a stage boundary will prepare not the next stage plan but an exception plan. However the project manager will still update the project plan, update the business case, risk situation and so on. This is now held at an exception assessment. The difference to an end stage assessment is that the project board need to authorise or otherwise this exception plan. If the answer is yes, they would again set state new stage tolerance, approve the exception plan and the project manager would now give out new work packages based upon that exception plan. Alternatively, the project board again may make a decision to prematurely close the project if they don't like what the exception plan shows them. So here it is being approved, and as I've said, now the project manager is giving out new work packages.